The number one thing that businesses struggle with is sales because they can't explain what it is they do and why it matters. And they can't do that because they're busy thinking about operations and trying to make things super complicated. You make things so complicated in your business that no one knows what you're talking about, no one knows what value you drive, and they have no idea how you're gonna help them. We see this with a lot of startups and even people who've been running their business for, for five or 10 years. They are terrified that people are gonna look at them and think that they don't do enough, that they're not savvy enough, that they're not driving enough value. They think that if they take a little bit of A and a little bit of B and a little bit of C and somehow mix it all together, you're gonna create some kind of new superhero value for the customer. They're gonna come in and be like, oh my goodness, this is so great. Now you can help me with all of those things? Awesome. And guess what happens? You actually just confuse the hell out of everyone. They have no idea what you're talking about. I've seen companies where they are app developers who are in wearables and a fashion line and a consultancy. What are they doing? You tell me, what business is that? Explain it to me in four words. What is it that they do? You have no idea. You can't explain it to anyone. You go to the cocktail party and you say, what do you do? And you say, well, we, we run a, a development company who was kind of in the fashion slash wearables place. And then when we're not making any money doing that, we also help other companies uh, figure out how to do stuff. Is that how you explain it? Like which one is the real business? Here's the thing, you can only grow one business at a time. Look at Elon Musk. How is he doing growing all these different businesses? It's hard, it's really hard. So you have to grow one business at a time. And which one is the main business? And then when that one is successful, yeah, you can go on. You can start your second, your third, your fourth. You can grow out to different things. You can expand. But if you're in startup, or even if you're pre-startup, you have to focus on one thing. And so the reason you do it is because you are terrified that people will think that you're an idiot. You think that they're gonna judge you. You think that they're not gonna think you're smart enough. You think that you're not gonna drive enough value. So you say, okay, here's the thing. I am super smart. I had this great idea. No one else is doing it. I'm gonna take Give me something. I'm gonna take, here we go, I just found this on the shelf. I'm gonna take ketchup and mustard bottles. And on top of that, I'm gonna make them the best thing in the world. So not only am I gonna take this, this terrible, ugly design, I'm gonna make sure that it's shaped better. I'm gonna make sure that it's only using sustainable products. I don't think people like this color of red, so I'm gonna focus group eight different colors of red and make them different colors that aren't all red. Because why should ketchup always be in a red bottle? That's stupid. On top of that, we're gonna develop an app that tells you when your ketchup bottle is running out of ketchup. And then lastly, we're gonna expand it outside of ketchup to all of the different condiments. If you don't like ketchup, that's okay. Your ketchup bottle doesn't even have to have ketchup in it because we want this to be for everyone. Oh yeah, and then centennials, people who are 21 and under, they love charities and giving back. So for every ketchup bottle you buy, I'm gonna go ahead and give money to your local charity. That's how most entrepreneurs start up their business. They think they have to do all of those things in order to make it the most interesting thing possible. And guess what? No one knows what you're talking about. The easier thing to do is to be in the ketchup bottle business and just make the best damn ketchup bottle you can. Sounds simple, doesn't it? All right, what is it you do? We make ketchup bottles. That's it. Sounds boring, doesn't it? You worried people are gonna judge you? You're in the ketchup business? Oh, what is it you do? I'm in the recycling business. We do large scale construction demolition, right? Can you explain what it is that you do in a single sentence like that? What is it you do? I'm in marketing. I help businesses sell more. You can get more complicated later, but too often you're busy worrying about the fact that people are gonna judge you and they won't think that you're smart enough. So you make everything so complicated that you can't market your business, you can't sell your business, you can't get investors into your business, no one knows what it is you do. Okay, so let's get rid of that. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna sit down and you're gonna make sure that you explain your business in such simple terms, you cut away all the fat and you can have the fat behind the scenes, but Cut away all the fat from your messaging and make sure that your grandmother can understand what it is you do. If you run a private school, you can say, oh, we developed the software and we have this and we have the space and we have the teachers and we have a uh, room and board and we have all these. We help kids get the education they need so they can hit the full potential. I don't know, I just pulled that off the top of my head. Was that good? Uh, you're in marketing. We help what size company? You fill in the blank. Do what to generate 
what outcome, right? We're in the ketchup bottle business. No, we're not in the ketchup bottle business. We designed the very best ketchup bottles so that way you can enjoy the moment of putting ketchup on the French fry individually or whatever it is you do. The number one thing that businesses struggle with is sales because they can't explain what it is they do and why it matters. And they can't do that because they're busy thinking about operations and trying to make things super complicated. Stop making it complicated. Make it really, really simple. Don't fear the judgment. And then if people are coming to you and saying you're an idiot, you can tweak. Listen, if you make it so simple that your grandmother understands you and people go, that's it? Oh, I don't want that. Okay, email me, we'll figure something else out. So here's what you're gonna say to me though, Mark. You're gonna say, wow, ketchup bottle. But, but I have to make my product different. I have to differentiate from the market. I have to stand out, I have to be benefit focused. You have to do all those things. The difference is that you have to focus on the core truths, the core emotions, the core elements that people care about and not jamming features on top of it. You make things complicated because you think if you throw more at it, somehow people are gonna like it more. But the best products focus on the core element of what it is they do. So let's go back to the ketchup bottle. You can make a ketchup bottle with all of those features that I talked about, or you can make the best ketchup bottle in the world. Now, would the best ketchup bottle in the world have all those features? Or would it look like a piece of art so people want to have it on their table? Or would it allow the ketchup to come out in such a way that you never have to hit the bottom of it, removing frustration? Would it allow the ketchup to maybe sit out on the table without ever losing flavor or changing flavor? Would it be the type of thing where a kid can go and use it in a really, really easy way so parents' lives are a little bit easier? All of these things can be the way to pursue the best ketchup bottle in the world, and none of them focus on jamming a whole bunch of stuff into it. It focuses on making sure that your product helps people live their lives better, removes frustration, adds value, makes the experience better. That's what you need to focus on. You can totally disagree with me. You can think ketchup bottle is the stupidest thing in the world. No matter what, leave a comment and let me know. And like always, you have to think big, you have to be bold, and you have to say yes. So when I talk with my hands like this, I have so much energy.